So I was explaining that the, we did the, by adding the second table there. We've now created a join, and this is this is really the beauty of this um, generator is that it that it actually shows you what the join is or what it's doing. There's different methods to join two tables, and this is an inner join. So basically, it's going to give me information when either one of those uh, condition when when both of those tables have the information I'm looking for. So in this case, it's card code. So you can see that the field is named exactly the same, um, and that's how it links. So it looks when I call for information from the address table, it's going to get that information for me from the address table as long as that card code is equal to the same card code in the business partner master. So um, does that not make sense to anybody? Um, I guess using the reference to um, Excel spreadsheets, you know, if you're going to do a lookup between one uh, one sheet and the other, you need a point of reference. Sometimes it might be a cell location. Uh, other times it's a, an internal code or a row number that you might have. And, and that's all this join does here is define, tells you what two tables you're linking, and then defines that reference point. All right? So now what this means is, from the CRD1 table, I can pull any of these pieces of information off, put them in the same row in my report as, um, as the other information. So in this case, let's take state. So now I want the state that all of these people are in. And now I'm going to put some conditions. If I run this, I'm going to hit execute. I'm going to run it. And it gives me every single one of my customers. This is a test database. So it gives me every single one of my customers. It gives me the BP code, their name, and it gives me their um, type and their group code and their um, state. Now, you'll notice a couple of things right off. First of all, there's two listings for Max Tech. So how can that be? I only have one business.